Good morning. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And this morning I wanted to talk to y'all a little bit before I started on this recipe. The recipe will be included in this um, video, but I just wanted y'all to know that um, I have a lot of subscribers that are subscribed to me because of my prepping because of my southern style recipes that I do um, and I'll, and now I have become keto and I don't want to lose my subscribers so I just want to tell y'all that I am doing as much keto as I can but still in my southern style recipes um, so if you're looking for your Southern style recipes, just because I'm doing keto doesn't mean that you can't, um, use these recipes. They're still going to be healthy for your family there because I do a lot of easy recipes. I try to get, um, good stuff for you to cook for you, good stuff to cook for my family, and it's healthy. So, I mean, let's put it bluntly here. I'm fat. Not big, not chubby, not whatever. I'm fat. I want to lose weight. I'm 62 years old. I tell y'all this pretty much in every video that I do, but I'm 62 years old. Um, I want to live, I've got an eight-year-old granddaughter, two six-year-old grandsons, and a five-month-old granddaughter, and a three, I think, three-year-old granddaughter, and I want to be around to see them grow up um, a little bit longer than I am now, and I'm doing keto because I'm diabetic and because I'm fat. I, my dietitian is totally against keto. She says that when you reach your desired weight or you go off of keto, that you gain it back really fast. Um, I can't see me ever going off keto. i am got a lot of weight to lose. I do try to pick healthy foods and I am going low carb. That's not going to hurt you, especially when you're diabetic. When I started on back on this keto journey this time, I made up my mind. I'm going to have to live like this the rest of my life, and it's not bad. I love keto. I get to fix whatever I want to fix, just maybe not with all-purpose flour or self-rising flour, but with almond flour or coconut flour. And maybe I can't have potatoes, but you can use radishes in the place of potatoes. You can use um, cauliflower and make some awesome mashed cauliflower that's like mashed potatoes. So I'm not doing anything that is bad for you. I'm doing stuff that are good for you. And so if you followed following me because of my Southern style recipes or my prepping or something like that, doesn't mean that you can't still take these recipes that I use and fix them for your family as well, because they're all good, healthy recipes. And I have taken my blood sugars down from 293 to between 100 and 125, pretty much every day. Now, sometimes my morning sugars are a little bit higher, but still not 293 nowhere near 293 so I'm doing good and I won't know how much weight I've lost until I go back to the doctor because I kind of base it on the doctor's scale so I, I think I go back November the 15th and I know I just had gone like 
the day before when I decided to go on keto. So I know what I weighed then, and I'm going to know what I weigh November the 15th, and I'll be able to take away those pounds that I've lost. And I know that I've lost some weight because my shirts, which I wear a lot of T-shirts, now it's going to change because, well, I might wear sweatshirts. Who knows what I'm going to wear this winter. But I'm around the house a lot, so I want to stay comfortable. So I wear a lot of T-shirts. I wear a lot of, um, I don't know, what I guess leggings or whatever around the house. So... I mean, like I said, don't don't y'all leave me <laughs> because I'm not doing those Southern style recipes anymore because I'm going to figure out some way to make it healthy for y'all so that you can have those Southern recipes just in a healthier way. So um, that's all I'm going to talk to y'all today. Let's get on. I'm going to go on and I got to get everything ready to do the recipe that I'm doing. I'm doing a cauliflower broccoli um, casserole, but I think it's going to be really good. And a lot of the recipes that I'm doing now, are, I think this one is coming from all I can do is dream about food.com. This woman is amazing. She has a ton of recipes and they're just like I want to do for y'all. They're good recipes. Now, she doesn't make them. There are a lot of written out recipes. You can't watch the videos on them. Some of them you can, but her videos may only be 30 seconds. Well, y'all know me. I don't like for talking. Um, <laughs> for, you know, I like to talk to y'all, so... I put it down, and um, I mean, I talk to y'all and do the recipes by showing you. So anyway, let me get to this recipe, and everything will be in the description box below, and I'll bring you back in a few. Okay, I'm back. All right, so this is going, this recipe is going to take my slow cooker. That's what you'll have to use for this. And I can't really promote this slow cooker because it's the best one I've ever had in my life. And it's GE, but you can't find them anymore. It's um, one that I got from Walmart years ago. I paid Forty dollars, thirty nine, ninety eight, or whatever it was, ninety seven, whatever. Um, forty dollars for it, and it is amazing to me. But like I said, it's not around anywhere. So whatever slow cooker you have, um, you can do this and that. I have got one head of cauliflower here, and two of those little bunches of broccoli that you see in Walmart and this has all been washed and cut up into pieces and I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to stir it up mix it up and get it all in here and I've got, right here, I've got four ounces of cream cheese and four tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to put that in here. And I'm going to put salt and pepper to taste, which I'm using this um, Himalayan pink salt that I got at Walmart. And I'm, this is going to take, I love the Himalayan pink salt and it does have a, a stronger taste than salt but it needs a little bit more salt than regular kosher salt which is what I've always used with y'all all right so now I've got my coarse ground black pepper I'm gonna put that in here and my holes are getting clogged up it doesn't seem to be coming out fast enough because y'all know I absolutely love coarse ground black pepper. It's 
one of the best things that I've ever used. All right, now I'm going to put the lid on here. And this lid, like, somehow, <laughs> if like, there you go, locks on. And I always lock it when I cook it. And I've got it set to, you do three hours on low. There it goes. Now, at the end of the three hours, I'll bring you back and we'll finish this dish. Okay, I'm back. All right, it's been three hours on my broccoli and cauliflower casserole. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to stir it up with this cream cheese. And it's because I used more, it's probably not going to be enough in here but I'll just make it work <laughs> and but what I'm going to do is I wanted this to be kind of like a meal so I am going to I had a little bit left of a rotisserie chicken just a little bit I'm gonna go on and put that in here and then with this, I thought, well, I've got some canned chicken. So, I have a can of this chunk white chicken and buffalo sauce. And it has one carb in it. And, well, let's see. This has got five servings in here so this whole can is going to be five carbs so i'm just going to go on and pour all of this in here with this um broccoli uh, with the broccoli and cauliflower and stir this up pretty good get it stirred up as best i can and I've got two cups of cheese. Well, it's, yeah, I guess it's two cups. I got out my food processor and did some cheese. First time in my life I've ever grated cheese in a food processor. So this was this was a new experience for me and Regina. Regina has a food processor and she's never done this either. So I have some mild cheddar cheese here and I have some pepper jack cheese. And I'm just going to put all of this in here. And I'm going to put this on high now, and I'm going to let this cook and all this come together with this chicken, this buffalo chicken, and this cheese, and I'm hoping that this is going to taste good. I really do. And we're going to see in about 30 to 45 minutes after this cheese melts. I'm going to see what this tastes like. But if you didn't want to do the chicken, all you have to do after you stir this up, after it's the three hours is over, you just um, stir up your cream cheese and with the broccoli and the cauliflower. And then you would put your cheese in here and let it cook for about 30 more minutes, but because I put the chicken in here and all of that, I'm going to put it on high and let it cook for an hour. All right, so let's see. All right, so I'm going to go on high. Well, y'all can't see, but I'm going down for an hour. And I'm going to let this cook for an hour. Can you see? Let's see. I've got it on there for an hour. I'm going to let it cook for an hour. And when it gets done, I'll 
bring you back. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's been about 25 minutes and something like that. <laughs> and I forgot to add something. I was just put bacon in here, so I've got about three slices of bacon. And I need to get my spoon. I'm going to go on and stir this up. The cheese is already melted. So I'm going to let this sit in here a few more minutes. And I'm going to come in here and make a plate. I've been trying to... Y'all can't see me. I've been trying to figure out the carbs on this. And I must admit that I'm not very good at this stuff. So I'm estimating that a... With the barbecue, with the buffalo chicken and all that, and the ch cheese, which the cheese really, I don't think, has that many carbs, but the broccoli and the cauliflower, um, I'm going to say 15 carbs. So, with this for my breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, it's going to be, I'm going to say I'm... I'm over by one carb. I've got 21 carbs today. I mean, I could be wrong on this because I don't really know. Like I said, I really don't know how to do the macros on this stuff. She has the macros on um, the cauliflower pepper jack casserole, but I put broccoli in here, and I put mild cheddar cheese and um, pepper jack. And I put the buffalo chicken in here and the bacon. And so, I'm, like I said, I'm just going to estimate that this is probably for a one cup serving of this. It's probably 15 grams of carbs. Maybe not that many. Maybe 10. But um, I guess it probably is with the cauliflower and the broccoli. I guess it probably is a little bit high in carbs but it'll be my dinner so um all right i'll bring you back in a little while okay i'm back all right so here's my dinner i'm gonna go on and try this see what it tastes like hmm okay that is amazing. I haven't gotten any of the chicken yet. Mmm. Mmm. That reminds... I mean, mmm. This is really good. Mmm. Might be a lot of carbs. But it's really good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. The cheese and the buffalo sauce that was in that chicken is really, really good. All right, here's a piece of chicken and the bacon. Mmm. Oh wow, this is really good, y'all. All right, if you don't want to add the chicken, That'd be okay. <laughs> Which the chicken doesn't have any carbs in it. Um, the buffalo, the buffalo sauce had has is what has the carbs in it. But I might be wrong on the macros for this. Um, because I was thinking five grams for the chicken, but that was five grams in the whole can, and I'm not eating a whole can. So, it may be 10 grams of carbs in here. Um, but this is really good. Really. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Look below for um, links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and to... Um, 
different things that I use in my kitchen that you may be interested in from um, in purchasing from Amazon. So you have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.